Welcome to the lair of the Batty Boffin. Hi there Batty fans, time for a little more subtraction. This time we're not going to be using our place value pizzas or the column subtraction that we've done in other videos. We're going to look at a method called the shopkeeper method, which is very handy for doing in your head. And in fact, when I was a little girl, I used to work in a cake shop and we actually used this for giving the change because it wasn't like shops are today with everything barcoded and you just go bleep bleep we actually had to memorize the entire contents of the shop and all the prices do all the adding up in our head calculate the change in our head and be right every time fortunately i'm very good at maths so i was okay with that so this is the shopkeeper method i've given these in pounds here and what i've said is we've got 10 pounds because you paid with a 10 pound note take away eight pounds 32 because that's what the, the value of the goods and we need to calculate the change now we could do it by the column method and I'm actually going to do that in a minute but here's how you do it by the shopkeeper method. What we're going to do is start with the £8.32 and add on bits and bobs until we get up to £10. So, well what should we add on first? Well, I'm going to add on, you could add on another 3p to take it up to 35 if you like. So we could certainly do that. I'm going to add on 3p there and that would give me a total of £8.32. 35. Well I fancy adding on another 5p now, that takes it up to something convenient. That would bring me up to £8.40. Another 10p, that brings me up to £8.50. And then I think a 50p piece would be good. And that brings me up to £9. And then finally we just need to add one more pound and that's got the ten pounds that the person paid with. So all in all the change that I've given is 3p plus 5p, 10p and 50p and one pound. So that makes one pound 68. One pound 68. Now you could have gone straight from 32 up to 40 by just adding 8p if you wanted and you could go straight from £8.40 to £9 by adding 60p if you wanted. You can do them in little two little bits and add them together or you can do them in one chunk. It makes absolutely no difference. I'm just going to do that by the column method as well just so you can see that it's true. So I'm going to write that as 10.00 take away 8.32 if you're not happy with the decimals by the way check out some of the other videos where I do subtracting with decimals and things like that but it works exactly the same as all the others there's no difference at all if it's decimals or not so by column method we do naught take away two can't do it unpack one of these oh there aren't any unpack one of these oh there aren't any unpack one of these aha there's some of those unpack one of these so now there are naught and there's ten of those Unpack one of the ten, which leaves nine, and gives you ten in the next column. Unpack one of those, which again leaves you with nine, and ten in the next column. So now we can do ten take away two is eight, nine take away three is six, decimal point, nine take away eight is one. One pound sixty-eight. Good. So Get yourself a cup of coffee, you've got about two seconds while I wipe down this board and there'll be another one for you to do. So here are some for you to do. Well, again we've got £10 in each case and you need to give change from £6.45, that's quite easy, or from £3.27, that's a little trickier. So pause the video and see how you get on with those now. Right, here we go. Starting with £6.45, I'm going to add on 5p, which takes me down to £6.50. Then an extra 50p gets us £7. And then I'm just going to go the whole whack and add on £3 to bring us up to 10 So all in all, that's £3 plus 50 plus 5 £3. 55. I hope you got that one. Second one's a little bit trickier. 
we've got £3.27. So let's start off by adding 3p to bring us up to £3.30. Now you could add 10p and 10p if you wanted, that'll take you up to 50p, or we can do it in one big jump and take us up to the next point, which I think I'm going to do. I'm going to add on 70p all in one go, which brings us up to £4. And then again, we could add £1 to take us up to 5 and then up to 10 but I'm going to do it in one big jump. I'm going to add on £6 to bring us up to £10. So that all in all is £6 plus 70 plus 3. £6, 73. There, I hope you got on with that all right. See you next time, Batty fans. <laughs> Ha 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 